Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to uh, troubleshoot your uh, iPhone 5S or iPhone 5. As a customer brought it to me, uh, this one, uh, he says uh, the touch does not work. And as you can see right now, the screen is kind of messed up. So I believe the, the whole LCD is messed up and then the digitizer is not working and uh, but i'm gonna open it up and make sure all the connection for the cables are there connect uh, properly if not then i will need to tell the customer that he needs to uh, change the whole brand new uh, lcd digitizer all right so make sure you guys have all the tools you need a suction cup, a guitar peg, if you don't have fingers like me that long, to pry out open, and then uh, plastic uh, prying tools. And you need like a star screw, screwdriver, either double zero or zero, very small and then uh, fill up a uh, screwdriver to uh, remove the cover for the flex cable so you could take out the cover and then check the all the flex cable are connecting uh, properly okay so without further ado let's go ahead and take out the two screws on the bottom I'm trying to show it to you guys as best as I can and I'm trying to show you guys the sizes of it because a lot of uh, viewers or subscribers out there are telling me uh, they don't know which screws uh, goes what I know it's hard to uh, just to take out all the screws and lay down trying to finalize and see what screw goes with what. So these are the two screws that's uh, on the bottom of your iPhone. iPhone 5 or iPhone 5S. I guess try to get a focus. Mm. There. And I'm going to put it into my uh, storage uh, box so I don't lose them. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to cover them up. And this is where the tricky part is, okay? You know, the this is uh, iPhone 5S has a... Uh, fingerprint sensor right here so you gotta be careful to not to lift up too fast because the, there's a flex cable down there and in order for you guys to uh, probably uh, remove the LCD screen you gotta pop it from the bottom and up but try to leave the the top part down okay because that help whole bunch of flex cable for the LCD and digitizer and uh, he he headphones I mean the earpiece so you're gonna put it right about here and then press down the suction cup and just pull out the tab real quick and you see a gap right here after you pull, give it a tug and just put your prying tool in there or the guitar peg and go around it around the screen and then like that just like that and then get it open once you slide your uh, tool okay that's about it you don't want to go too far up So 
as you can see, you're going to reveal that uh, cable. See right here. And then uh, there's a connector on the bottom. You got to pry it out. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me try to see the. If I can show it to you guys. Okay. Now I see it's coming out. So you see the <laughs> flex cable right here, and that's where the connector is. And then this is the cover to lock into its place, or the plate. So don't lose this plate. Okay. So you gotta hook in like that and then press down. That's where the lock is. And this is where I pry it out to open it. And now you could lift up your phone up this way, okay? And you're gonna reveal the metal plates that's covering all the flex cable right there. Okay. Okay, see so you guys try to zoom in. And now I gotta take out those uh screws and you need to ident identify. I think some of them are short, some of them are I mean long. So as you can see, the screws it is very short. I believe the uh, the one over here is the long longest one. God, the sun is killing me now. The cloud is covering and it's getting darker now. So Hopefully you guys can still see. So as you can see, this is a uh, little bit longer, like a mid-sized screw. Hopefully I can show it to you guys. See the size difference? Try to flip it. This one is a little bit longer, okay? 
and this one is shorter. So the two on the bottom was a small screw. And I believe the one on the corner right there is going to be longest one. That's why my magnet uh, screwdriver is not picking up because it's heavier. Let me use my block one to see if it pick it up. Yep. Oh, so I guess uh, not the top two screws are same size. So now you can take out the metal plate and then you pry out all the cables. Uh, I use my fingernail, so if you want to use a prying tool that come with your uh, kit. So there's one. Two. When you pry out, you want to pry out where the metal plays at, okay? You don't want to pry out at the cable, or you're going to break the cable. Use that finger. Now this is for the battery, so which is good. So now the phone is off. There's uh, more cables over here. And there's another one right here, okay? Oh, no, that's the... We got one, two, three cables for the screen. So one is for the digitizer. And uh, the other one is for the LCD, and the other one is for the earpiece. And this is where the home buttons uh, connector goes in at. Sometimes uh, you reset the battery and it should work fine, but I'm going to see if that works.
So this is tricky because you gotta, after you put the top of the cables in, and then you gotta tilt, tilt the angle this way, and then uh, you gotta find a way to uh, press this uh, connector down, which is very tricky, okay? And make sure you guys don't force and mess up the cable. You gotta press down where the metal tab is at, and then you just need to feel it. And when you hear that click, or when it goes into its place, then you know it's in. And now you wanna go ahead and put the top of the screen in. You don't need to close out all the way because uh, we are just testing out the uh, LCD again. Once we reconnect it and make sure if it's working or not. If that will solve the problem, if not, then this customer would need to uh, buy a brand new uh, screen. Yep. So as you can see, yeah, the screen is still not working. So that mean, uh, because sometimes it, when your screen does that, you might have a loose connection. And once you re reconnect the cable, it might uh, work for you if you're uh, lucky enough. So unfortunately, this customer probably dropped it. Uh, or the, as you can see, the case has been banged up a lot. Or uh, you see the back, there's a dent over here as well. So the screen is very fragile. If you drop it a couple of times, so it might break on you. So unfortunately, this is the case. So that means uh, customer will require to purchase another LCD. All right. So please uh, be sure to like this video and then uh, share this with your friend on social media if they are trying to troubleshoot their uh, iPhone 5 or 5S or 6 or 6S. If their digitizer is not uh, malfunction, and this is uh, how you troubleshoot it. So, and then this will conclude our uh, video of the day. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Alright? Peace out, guys. Peace. Thank you.